Hey guys, just wanted to talk about uh, some of these scopes. There's a 60 24 by 50, 3 to 9 by 50, and the 4 to 16 by 40. The 3 to 9 by 50 and the 4 to 16 by 40 were sent to me by Penty. Here's the 3 to 9 by 50. There's a rangefinder illuminated reticle. There's the turrets on it, which are, I like those little knobs, whatever you want to call them on there. There's your diopter adjustment, your power, and your uh, luminate reticle adjustments. And there's what comes with that scope. So, pretty nice little scope. Uh, here's this 4 to 16 by 40. I really, really like this scope a lot. You got resettable locking turrets. Um, the glass is really good on that scope. You got red, green, and blue for that, uh, for your illuminated reticle. There's your diopter and uh, AO adjustments there. So, 4 to 16 by 40 mil dot. Super nice scope, guys. I really, really do like that one a lot. So, pretty sweet. Here's the 6 to 24 by 50. I have like four of these. Had them for several years. Had them on a lot of different air guns and uh, never had any issues with them. They're pretty nice. So there's the turrets on those. They got nice positive clicks. You'll see that in the video. Here's the AO on that particular scope. And again, here is your diopter power and illuminated reticle adjustments there. Um, pretty nice, like it says, five levels. So now we're going to take a little cruise around the website quick here, guys, and show you. Some of the stuff you can get over there at uh, Penty. They make a lot of different stuff, guys. Uh, obviously, scopes, tactical stuff, backpacks, bipods. Subscribe and save 10% over there, guys. Free shipping on orders over $30. That's pretty sweet. They got some mystery box deals if you're into rolling the dice on, on some stuff. So uh, that might be maybe I'll do that and do a little video on what shows up in there. Um, here are some of the products over there you see reflex sites um just different stuff guys you got like i said they got a lot of stuff it's pretty sweet uh you head over there and check out that website guys i really dig it so so that's about it for this part of it guys we'll get to the video here and see what you think hey guys how's it going today so out here at my friend greg's i uh took the week off from work i had some uh PTO to burn up. I resets for me on the first. So uh I never usually take it, but this year I was like, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it. So spent the week doing some different things, but this is one of the things that I wanted to get done. Uh Gary over at Pinty was nice enough to send me a couple of, of their optics to check out and do a video on. So that's what we're gonna be covering today, guys, is these three scopes. This scope is the 6 to 24 by 50 with the rangefinder uh, reticle. Um, it has a diopter adjustment. It's also illuminated. Um, adjustable objective. And the turrets are they're, they're pretty decent. They got a nice positive click to them. So I like those. Uh, let's see. 1 8 at 100 yards on the adjustments. So I'm gonna put the, I have the side shot on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it, the phone in there and uh, do some shooting. At the, I got a target set up at 25 yards. That way you guys can see the reticle. The video quality is never real, really great with the side shot, but uh, that's okay. You guys get an idea what the reticle looks like. And then I'm just gonna work through each scope here and we'll kind of go over some of the features. I will also wanna say with this one, uh, they do come with rings and, of course, cleaning cloth and the tools to put it on. You know, all the typical things you get with a, with a Pinty scope. So uh, we'll, we'll move on here and we'll do some shooting. Well, that's pretty good. So you can see that rangefinder reticle. You hey guys, I, I like it. Uh, this particular scope... I've actually had for like three years. I've actually got three or four of these that I've been using and they've always been good. I, I like the, uh, um, the slashes on it for holdover and stuff, as you know, for air gunning, that's kind of a big deal. So, let's see if we can do better than that. 
never shot these pellets through this gun, so we'll see if it likes them or not. Looks like some kind of grouping up into the left. Maybe I pulled the first one, I don't know. Anyway, you can see there and the rangefinder reticle has been around for a very long time. And uh, if you do a little poking around on it, you can see like that, the bottom half of that, how that's all set up. That's for judging yardage and everything else. I don't know how to use it, but uh, there's a lot out there about it if you want to shoot longer distances. So I do love shooting this gun. All right, guys. So you can see I've got the 6 to 24 by 50 pulled off here. Uh, we I'm going to pull this next one out of this box, but I did want to give you guys a better look at the 6 to 24 by 50. Get up here a little closer. Hopefully it's focused enough. There's your turret caps. Nice positive clicks. Adopter adjustment. The power. Illuminated reticle in your AL. All are fairly, fairly smooth. So. Uh, like I said, I've got three or four of these and I've had really good luck with them. I've even had them on, uh, some hots and 125s and, uh, they still work. So pretty, uh, pretty sturdy scope. Let's go ahead. We're going to open this one. Let's see. I've had these open just to kind of look at them. So we're going to pull it out. First thing we're going to pull out here, this is pretty much standard with uh, all of Penty's stuff. You're gonna get a set of rings. These are tall rings. They have the Allen wrench in there. So you're tightening down their single bolt on the top there. Get the actual scope out. So it's there. If you collect silica gel packs, you get one of those little manual that comes with it, cleaning cloth, and the battery for your illuminated reticle. The uh, 6 to 24 by 50, of course, comes with that also. So I'm not using the rings that come with it. I'm just going to swap them out on the rings that I have on here. So we do have the flip-up caps like that. I like them, they've worked well. Like I said, all my other pennies have them on them. Uh, again, we got an illuminated reticle. This is the three to nine by 50. Couldn't remember, I was gonna say something before I pulled it out of the box, but I couldn't remember if it was 50 or 56. So this is the three to nine by 50. Pop this baby up, take a look. Again, we have the rangefinder reticle with this particular scope. So I probably won't, uh, well, you know what? I am still going to video a little bit. We'll see if the get it on target and see if it's going to hold zero. I plan on doing a bunch more shooting today too, which I'll probably do a little intro at home. Uh, I got, it does, I like these turrets with the little handle on there. They're easier to grab. Let me give them a click here. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Nice positive clicks. Both of them. So I'll put links in the description too, guys, to these scopes. I can't remember exactly how much they cost. So, so I'm going to get this guy mounted up and we'll do a little shooting through it. All right, guys. As you can see, again, like I said, range finder reticle. I'm just going to take a few shots here. I got this baby pretty well zeroed. We'll see if uh, see if I can hit it. It's gonna be like three or four. And we'll move on. Yeah. If you guys, any anybody out there's 
thinking about saving up some money and uh, I just highly recommend a Neutron Star. They're really, really accurate guns. I know that one hit high there, but I'm not exactly taking my time and I really haven't found a pellet yet that the gun doesn't like. Let's just finish the mag. All right, guys. Well, that's the 3 to 9 by 50 EG from Penty. Uh, something else I did, forgot to mention that I really like about the scope is the objective on it, the 50 millimeter objective. When I was younger, uh, I was an iron sights guy all the way. Didn't like scopes, actually, at all. And then uh, I hit my 40s. And uh, Mother Nature decided that Jason's going to start liking scopes, or I'm not shooting. So, so there's that one, guys. I do like that. It, one of the only things that it does not have is an adjustable objective on it. But really, for you know, a scope like this, you're a three to nine, you're going to be shooting out to maybe 50 yards with it, maybe more if you you know, if you want to. So an adjustable objective really isn't completely a must-have on a scope like like this one. It does have a diopter adjustment here for focusing the eyepiece. So it does help. I like it. Let's move on to this guy. This is the Pinty. You get a few more goodies with this one, guys. Uh, out of the three, as far as features, stuff like that, uh, I do like this one a lot. Again, comes with rings, the battery, cleaning cloth, all that stuff. So this is the 4 to 16 by 40 AOL scope. Flip up caps. These are definitely uh, pull that off of there, just so you guys can see the comparison here as far as quality. These are fine. I like these. They work well, but these are definitely a higher quality flip up cap than what comes on uh, like the six to twenty four by fifty and the three to nine. Six to by, yeah. Anyway, so nice flip up caps. Really dig that does come with a sunshade, which is really nice. Uh, something I'm really digging about this scope, you guys, is that it uh, has locking turrets, which is very cool. It also has zero reset. So you can uh, get your yardage set where you want if you're not familiar with how they work. There's an Allen head screw. You can get this thing set at 30 or 50 or 100 yards, whatever. You want to shoot at and then you can take that off and you can bring it back to turn the turret cap to zero and line it up here you do have witness marks on the turrets here you probably can't see it but there are witness marks on both turrets where your zero will be so you're just going to set your cap back down to that on zero and tighten them down and now you're zero to that yardage so if you have to make adjustments on the scope you can always come back to 230 or 50 or 100 or whatever yardage you want to set up at so we're going to take this ring off which this is a nice ring on here too so great turrets uh illuminated reticle this one's a little different it's not up here on top of the eyepiece it's on the side right here they do have illuminated reticle and like i said it does come with the battery for it we do have the adjustable objective out to 200 to infinity. So starting at 10, but you can turn it down farther than 10. So we're going to go ahead and put the, this uh, sunshade on. When I was looking at reviews on Amazon, people were really griping about, like, the sunshade won't fit. Well, there's some people that apparently can't figure out that you have to unscrew this first. Then you screw that baby on, and then take this piece and screw it on the end of that. It's pretty simple. Just like that. So, same deal as before. We're going to get her mounted up here, and uh, we'll do some shooting with it. Oh, it is a beautiful milled dot reticle. So, let me get that done, and we'll uh, shoot some more video here. I want to talk for just a moment here about... Uh, glass so i don't know how well it's going to translate with the side shot 
The glass on the first two are fine, they're not bad, but the, the glass on this scope is noticeably better. So, I'm liking that. I don't know how well you can see the mill dot reticle, but I really, really like a mill dot reticle now. windy today it was only 25 yards and this is these 29.32s are probably going at about 8 870 880 somewhere around there so they should be able to pretty well buck the wind at 25 yards you can see it's lined up there so anyway i really like that reticle you guys the glass is noticeably better on this scope of course it costs more money but uh i think definitely worth the investment like i said before there'll be uh links down in the description to these so let's move on to uh the next part here all right just a quick recap the out of the three scopes you guys can probably tell that <laughs> i'm really liking this one the best uh, i do love the 50 millimeter objectives but this scope just has some advantages over the other two again locking resettable turrets Awesome. Mill dot, mill dot reticle. Awesome. Um, you have adjustable objective, diopter, the power adjustment smooth. And, uh, you know, I just, I really like this scope a lot. Comes with the sunshade and again, rings, battery, clean cloth tool, you know, the Allen wrench to, to mount your stuff with. So, well, it's going to be the end of this one, guys. I edited out a bunch of unnecessary stuff there. So, Here's some pictures that I took over the last few days, spending some time with these scopes, and I really do like them a lot. So get over there and check them out.